Hello everyone, my name is Brian Kayongo. I'm so glad to be here with you today to share a couple of principles which you can implement in your business and which you can use in your daily lives. I'm so great to have here someone in the studio, my brother Adrian, who is going to be sharing with you some of the three questions which come from you, our viewers, and you want me to reply back to you. Yes, Mr. Adrian, uh, what do you have today in the studio to share with our viewers, please? Thank you, Mr. Kayongo. You know, your book is famous uh, in America, in Kenya, and now in Uganda. Some of the viewers have written, and one of them said, you know, we grew up as Christians, yes. and we are told that when you train up a child in the way they should go, they will not depart from it. And this viewer says that when you are starting a business, there must be also some key principles that can help them succeed the way they have seen you succeed. Yes. Kindly help this viewer and many others who are looking for solutions by giving them a few principles that will help them succeed in business. Uh, my number one key principle on that is that they should build a brand, not a business. Because a brand gives a direction to the business. A brand gives gives a character to the business. A brand gives a light to the business in the form of colors. You choose colors which represent your brand. So that is what I recommend to that point. Yeah. The other thing which I will talk about is that uh, you you are the solution for your business. The moment you think about there is going to be another person who is going to be the solution for the problems you're try, trying to work in your business you are lying to yourself. You are going to be the one who is going to sit down and think through what is the ideal way of working out this problem with your team or you independent of yourself. But always for me, I recommend you encourage your team to find solutions for these things which are being raised into the business and that will give you guidance. And when you do that, utilizing your staff to help you figuring out these solutions, even if you are not in existence, those people can be independent of themselves to continue building your brand, to continue making proper decision for your brand. So that's one of other things which I would recommend for that person to follow up with as they are doing business in life. Another thing is that in business, do not procrastinate on the ideas which come up in your business. Because the moment you procrastinate, the business is so dynamic that tomorrow is going to change. What you think will be added as another service in your business, by the time you think about it and it takes you like one or two years to think about it, to start it, another person is doing far better than you. He's already hit the marketplace. He's diverting the marketplace into their own direction. So please, do not procrastinate on the idea which can improve your business. Just move forward with it. Work fast but also work with conscience of knowing that as you're working fast, you're making the proper decision principles according to your brand. That's why I say don't build a business, build a brand. Thank you so much.